When you're new to Tempo Budgets, the first thing you'll have to do is create a folio. In this video, you'll learn what a folio is, how to decide which kind of folio to create, and last but not least, how to create a folio. So what is a folio? A folio is a tool to manage funds to accomplish a goal. Folios are made up of a scope, costs, and a schedule. A scope is defined by any set of JIRA issues, but we'll talk more about the scope options later. A folio can help you better predict the outcome of your goals to help you stay on track. Why is it called a folio and not a project? A folio is essentially a financial project, but we use the term folio to distinguish Tempo Budgets projects from JIRA's definition of projects, so there's no confusion. In Tempo Budgets, a folio can be associated with any number of JIRA projects. So how to decide what kind of folio to create? With Tempo Budgets, you can create a few different types of folios. The first thing to consider when creating a folio is how you want to manage costs and revenue. If the scope of your project is well planned in advance and can be estimated in terms of hours necessary to complete the project, then you should consider using Earned Value Management and track Earned Value. It is a reliable and objective way to control project costs, giving immediate and accurate indications of project health. On the other hand, if you expect the scope of your project to be rather unpredictable, have no estimates at hand, or simply prefer not to use EVM, then you should choose to track Simple Costs or Costs and Revenue depending on whether or not you would like to track revenue. You can also create a sample folio if you are evaluating tempo budgets or want to demonstrate the product with mock data. With a sample folio, you can safely explore the features of tempo budgets. So let's go ahead and create a folio. There are a couple of places from where you can create a folio. You can reach the Create Folio window from inside another folio. On the second menu bar, click Folio and choose Create from the list. You are then presented with the first Create Folio window, but let's close this for now. You can also choose to create a new folio from the Manage Portfolios page. On the top menu bar, click Tempo and choose Manage Portfolios. You are now in the Manage Portfolios page. From here, you can click the icon in the top left corner that looks like a piece of paper, and you'll be presented with the first Create Folio window. A window will then pop up asking you what you would like to define the scope of your folio. You can tailor your scope as you wish by using one or more JIRA projects, a JIRA Save filter, Tempo accounts associated to one or more customers, JIRA issues, a custom JQL, or a Tempo account. For this example, let's use a JIRA project to define the scope, as this is the most common. You are then asked what you would like to track. For demonstration purposes, we'll create an EVM folio. So we choose the Earned Value option. You're now presented with one last window, and you'll need to give your folio a name, specify the start and end dates, and add the JIRA project or projects for the scope. From here, you can also choose to associate your folio to a portfolio, fill in any custom fields you've added, and add a description. After filling in the relevant information, click Create, and that's it. So just a quick recap on what we learned. We learned what a folio is, how to decide what kind of folio to create, and how to create a folio. Thanks for watching.